I hate you guys. It's Austin Holloman. Back again with another video. And I'm doing this one off the top of the head with no sleep. Guys, God was talking to me last night. And he got me to realize some things that I needed to hear. How do I know God was talking to me? Because I'm sick still. I'm almost done recovering. But I got in the bed because I had a photo shoot apparently right now. But the photographer didn't wake up. So we were waiting, but he didn't wake up. And I did not sleep 10 seconds. I literally laid in the bed five, six hours trying to fall asleep and never fell asleep. And that was because I needed to think about something. And I thought about it and I've made my decision. Now let's get into the video. I got to give everybody a bone. Uh, not everybody a bone. Some of my audience a bone because I know men want to hear about we can talk about all this. What's the investment opportunities? But what if a guy wants to find a wife? You know, what if a guy wants a date in these other countries? I'm not gonna sit up here. I know I've already been in trouble for talking about women, but I'm not saying nothing negative. I'm just telling it like it is. Um, dudes wanna hear about women and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Now, so I'm gonna compare the two, and the reason I'm comparing two, I wanna compare my dating experiences in Brazil. I'm not gonna go into detail about Brazil because I've already done that, but I'm gonna compare what it's like there versus here in Tanzania. Number one hugest difference in between the two is the choosing signals. Uh, I've only been to Dar, maybe it's different in other cities, uh, but in this city, choosing signals happen from about 10% of the women that are interested in you. What does that mean? That means if you're not good at cold approaching women, don't come here. If you don't like cold approaching women, don't come here. If you have an issue with cold approaching women, do not come here. If you're used to somewhere like, if, like for example, Brazil spoiled me with their choosing signal stuff. If you're used to that, this is not the place for you because you're gonna have a hard time adjusting. That's, that's gonna be a big culture shock. Because in Brazil, I don't have problems approaching women, but I got used to women giving me a, a, a super green light first. Because if, if you guys do know in Brazil, if you guys have been to Brazil, you know what I'm talking about. You walk into a room, let's say you go into a restaurant. There's usually a bunch of women everywhere, but you go into a restaurant. If a woman is interested in you, she will be watching you like a hawk watching a snake from the sky <laughs> you know she won't take her eyes off it, it'll be as clear as day that she's interested in you there's no way you, you have to be a damn fool to miss it in tanzania that's not the case it's absolutely not the case at all uh, i've had choosing signals here uh, they were from a certain type of woman <laughs> if you know, read between the lines, so they weren't really choosing signals. But I've had choosing signals uh, from regular women, and that, that was just very rare. But I did get numbers when I just decided, oh, you know, she, she's not really paying me no attention, but I'm gonna walk over there and just talk to her because I find her attractive. And that works. And I don't like doing that. I really don't. But that's the culture here. Can't change it. That's, that's not going to change for me. I'm just telling you guys what I'm seeing. And yeah, you're, you're going to cold approach. There, there's, there's no way around it. So that's a heartbreaker for a lot. Uh, so if you're on the Brazil speed, Tanzania has just about just as much stuff as Brazil does, except for that. Like that's the one of the that's the biggest difference let's talk about fitness you guys do know very well brazil has a huge fitness culture like if you go to the gym it's always packed from open to close and especially in the beach cities 80 percent of the population at the gym is going to be women majority of the women in brazil are going to be fit here there i'm going to make this clear 
there is no, I'm not gonna say there's no, but I'm not seeing a large number of obese women. Actually, I don't think I've seen any obese women here. Not, if you guys know the definition of obese, if you don't know, look it up. Not, I've not seen a large number of obese women here, but I haven't seen any. The women here do not go to the gym. Like that's not, there's women in the gym, yes, but that's not something that's just common like that. You gotta keep in mind the gyms in Brazil are $25 a month for a smart fit, which is what I was paying. I think I was paying the most expensive one too. Here, the gyms are like $75, $100 a month. A day pass is $15. So a lot of people cannot afford the gym because I mean, as an American, that's high. You know, I was paying $20 in the States, $30 in the States, I mean, for 24 hour fitness. And so for me to come to an African country and I'm thinking I'm gonna pay less, I'm paying triple of what I was paying in the States. So they can't afford to go to the gym, nor is there a huge gym culture here. So when you go to the gym, you can count how many people are in the gym. When you're in Brazil, you cannot count how many people are in the gym. But here you can count, it's usually like six to eight people in the gym at a time. Majority of them are men. Now, does that mean the women are out of shape? Absolutely not. I don't know how they do it, but somehow they all still have low body fat. Well, I'm not gonna say low body fat. They all have a tight waist and they have hips and they're, they're very well built but they do not go to the gym. I guess that's just African genetics or Tanzanian genetics, I don't know. But that's what it's like here when it comes to that. Uh, as far as meeting women on the beach, uh, the, from what I've seen here, the beaches are pretty much dry. Even the nicest beaches I've seen have just been pretty much just the water and the sand and the restaurant. Uh, I mean, they have like the beach clubs like Wavuvi that I go to. You know, but that's just more of a club. Nobody's in the sand in a beach chair with an umbrella listening to music like they do in Brazil. So that, that's a huge difference. You're not gonna meet women at the beach. Another difference between the two, language barrier. Yes, they speak Swahili here primarily, but just about everybody knows English, it seems like. If you've been to the Philippines, just about 100% of the people know English. I say like 90, 85, 90% of the people here know English. Uh, enough English for you to converse with them and do what you need to do. In Brazil, you're gonna need to learn Portuguese to communicate with those women. So you can either learn Portuguese or not. Listen to the video, tell me which one you like more. I mean, it's up to you, it's your decision. The next point, catering. Now, the difference between these two, Brazilian women cater to men. Yes, they will cook, yes. But they are still in the West, so they still have a little bit of that feminist propaganda in a lot of their heads. So, you might not hear them say slave, but I've had Brazilian women tell me like, hey, Austin, if you wanted somebody to clean, which guys, I, my place is always clean. My place never needs to be clean. If my place is dirty, somebody else messed it up. So when I, if I ask a woman to clean my place up, that literally means make the bed back. And I'm looking around right now and there's really not shit else for you to do. So if there is something else for you to do, that's something that you did. I keep my place like presentable at all times. That's how I was raised. <clears throat> And that's the best way to be, trust me. I had a chick tell me if you want somebody to do that, you need to hire a maid, which I had a maid. Yes, I had a maid already. But you messed that up. And you came to my crib and messed it up. Why can't you clean it? Those issues, those type of conversations, sometimes you're running set in Brazil. In Tanzania, you're not running into that. I was actually impressed by the Tanzanian women by how they made the bed so well, and they got in there and they just cleaned up. They just cleaned, they just cleaned up and was just wiping stuff that didn't need to be wiped. Like they did, it, they're raised different. And that's because we're in Africa. That same propaganda, yes, it's in some places here, but a lot of places, they're not teaching women to 
disrespect or be non-catering to a man because they know that that goes nowhere fast. I would speak on effort. Uh, Brazilian women do give a lot of effort, like a lot of effort. I haven't been serious with anybody in Tanzania in the 30 days long enough, uh, which is odd because in Brazil it, it doesn't take 30 days for somebody to show you that amount of effort, but I haven't been serious enough with anybody here to say if they have strong effort or not, but I guess if we if we go down to the choosing signals, they're, they, they probably put in the most effort when they become someone to you. Like if they're your girlfriend, wife, or whatever, you know, then yeah, then maybe they put in a lot of effort. But I think so far, Brazilian women do show a lot of effort right off the back, more than what I've seen anywhere else in the world. Not here, anywhere else in the world, more than what I've seen. Brazilian women just show that more right off the rip. Now both both places do have a uh, good time kind of culture. Let's say that because you guys know I got to be careful with my words. Jesus. Both places do have a good time. Like they're, they're, they're both places that people are having fun. Let's just say that. In both places you can still find a wife. I think you'll find a wife a lot quicker here if you go out to a smaller city or another side of town. But I don't think in a tour zone, you'll find a wife that fast. I think you, you, you would need to learn Swahili and go to Mbezi or go somewhere further west or south, somewhere not in the area that all the tourists are at. That's not, I don't think, and that's pretty much for any country in the world, right? But you're gonna have a harder time finding somebody to settle down long term there, I would say. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now I know a lot of dudes are gonna wanna know if, you, if you're a guy that's been to Brazil, you wanna come to Tanzania, and I'm gonna make this my last point. You're probably wondering how affectionate are they here? Uh, I'm gonna say maybe behind closed doors, yes. But in public, it's not a thing here. It's not a thing in Tanzania, from what the women themselves have told me, to be, to do PDA, public display of affection. That's not a thing. I have a friend out here, she's an American, and she told me that her and her mom were sitting at some event, some, some fashion show, I guess, and her mom set her hand on her daughter's leg because that's her daughter, I guess, you know? Somebody came by and checked them about it real quick. That type of thing, you know? Now, I've seen people kiss. No, I have not. Actually, no, I have not. They kissed in private. See, so, yeah, there's it's, it's very reserved when it comes to PDA here. If you've been to Brazil, if you've watched my Brazil video, you know that I said that a Brazilian, I had a, a video titled that a Brazilian woman would kiss you in five seconds. That's true. CNN put that in their report when they uh, re falsely reported about me. And if you read the comments, the, even the Brazilian people said, this is true, That that is true. You think I just pulled that out of my ass? That's true. But yes, in Brazil, holding hands, kissing in public, that's very common, very normal. It's almost mandatory when you're dating to do that kind of stuff in public. Not excessively, but I mean, when you first meet, they expect you to kiss them. So yeah, that's what I had to say so far. Let me know if I missed anything or any points that I did not touch on. Uh, for any Tanzanians watching, please correct me. Please forgive me if I said anything disrespectful about your culture because I've had an issue with, I guess, not understanding what's offensive or not to people. I'm not here to offend anybody. But if you guys have not already, like the video, comment on the video, share the video with somebody that may be interested in it. My cash app is dollar sign Austin Holloman, PayPal Austin Holloman at Gmail. I'll see you guys in the next video.